Hey everybody, today is Thursday and I'm going to try to do this in one take because I am tired. So, I had my first week of school and it was, it was interesting. <laughs> um, acting is going to be intense. Um, the Shakespeare class is going to be pretty fun, but I'm not worried about it because I'm going to take it credit, no credit. History of art is going to be pretty easy. I just have to do it's just memorizing, memorizing, memorizing. I think I have to memorize like 500 paintings and their uh, title, artist, date, and all those things, but that's just memorization. I can do that. Um, ballet. Oh my god. I had my first ballet class today since for like two and a half years. I mean, we had a mini class on Tuesday, but I was wearing jeans, so I sat about most of it. Today was a full ballet class. It was intense. Ballet equals pain. That's what my new Facebook status was, or is, as I made it. Ballet equals pain, because it does equal pain. I am in a lot of pain. Um, <laughs> I, and this is probably only because I'm like 15 pounds heavier than I last was when I did ballet and I am out of shape. Uh, mentally, I am a lot more advanced in this class, but physically I am not there yet. I have some work to do and I just got back from ballet a little while ago. I'm still stuck in that pain mode <laughs> mentally right now. I'm just like, ah. but as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to take a shower, have dinner, and relax for the rest of the night. <laughs> um, I have a million challenges I'm supposed to do. Uh, Chelsea gave one. Megan gave one. I don't remember what they are. I should probably look them up. I don't think I'm going to because I'm trying to do this one take. Um, yay for Chelsea for editing. I like the song Scarborough Fair by Simon and Garfunkel book sounds interesting, Megan. Uh, I'm glad you're back, Max. Yay! And, yeah, Devin, he didn't film this Monday. He took his get-out-of-jail card. And I'm going to film for Devin this coming Monday because he's going to be out of town. So you're going to see me twice next week. I hope you guys like me. Otherwise, that's going to suck for you. And I'm kind of sad that he's not going to be there but, or be filming because I look forward to him. Actually, I look forward to everyone. So, it's kind of nice. And there's some stupid thing. Oh. Now, why does the computer wants me to install something? But I, I said no. I put my foot down on that one. Um, the book I'm reviewing today. The book... I am reviewing today is called Both Sides of Time by Carolyn B. Cooney. It is Carolyn or Caroline, I'm not sure. I think it's Caroline. Caroline B. Cooney. It's a really good book. It's one of my favorite books of all time. Oh, <laughs> isn't that great? Um, it's in this quartet of books. There's four books, that's what a quartet means. There's four books in the series. They're about time, and it starts off in 1990-something. And the main character, Annie, short for Anna Sophia, she uh, is like in this one relationship with her boyfriend, and then she ends up traveling through time and 100 years earlier to like 1890-something. And she meets this really cute boy there, Strat. Love Strat. He's cute. And then, you know, over the course of four books, she's traveling back and forth, and she has to make decisions. Does she want to stay there? Does she want to stay in, you know, present? And so on and so forth. And I really like it. I think the first book's really great. And all four books as a, you know, series is really good, too. Um, I just went over my time. Bye.